So this question is a, uh, it provides a table. So let's just make sure we understand the table before we get started. So the table, the first row says that number of hours Tony plans to read the novel per day is three hours. Second row, number of parts in the novel. So there are eight parts. Number of chapters in the novel. So there are 239 chapters, quite a bit. Uh, number of words Tony reads per minute. So Tony reads at a rate of 250 words per minute. And then it says number of pages in the novel. So there's 1,078 pages. And lastly, there are 349,168 words in the novel. All right, so the question goes on to say, Tony is planning to read a novel. The table above shows information about the novel, which we just saw. Tony's reading speed and the amount of time he plans to spend reading the novel each day. Okay, so we saw all that. If Tony reads at the rates given in the table, well, what rates? We do have a rate here with the 250 words per minute, so that's important to know. Um, I don't see any other... Oh, so we have a rate here. He's reading three hours per day. So rate is a little side note. Whenever you're trying to find a rate, you will always have per, right? So like miles per hour, right? Um, salary per hour, pay per hour, right? So anytime you're dealing with rate, you're going to have per. So when I, when I say, well, what are the rates here? I only see those two that I've arrowed because those are the only ones that have this per in there per minute, per day. Okay, so then if Tony reads at the rates given in the table, which of the following is closest to the number of days it would take Tony to read the entire novel? Well, what do we know about the entire novel versus how Tony reads? Um, so it doesn't tell us how many parts he reads per hour or day, so I'm gonna get rid of that. We don't know how, a rate regarding the number of chapters that he reads, um, it tells us our rate is the number of words. So I'm gonna relate that to this row because if he's reading 250 words per minute and the novel has 349,168 words, then we can convert this in today's somehow. Let's see, so if there's 349,168 words, I'm gonna say, well, his rate of 250 words, that's for every one minute that he reads, okay? So why did I do that? Uh, I want words to cross out, so I'm gonna always keep those diagonal. And then second of all, that'll give me the number of minutes, but we wanna find the number of days. So I know that um, there are 60 minutes in an hour. Okay, and what do we know in terms of days? Well, there's 24 hours in a day, but Tony's not reading all 24 hours. He's only reading three hours of each day. So I'm gonna just put three hour per one day. So this should get us to the right answer. And if you think about how I got there, it really was to you know focus on what's important, right? So this. Parts in the novel is not important. Chapters in the novel is not important. Number of pages in the novel is actually also not important. The only things that I can relate from a rate standpoint are these three things that I have arrows next to. So the number of words relates to this one here. And then we get in the three hours per day, as you can see at this last step here. So let's do the math on all of this. Um, if you had a calculator, you can just type it all in, you'd be done. But what I'm going to do, for visual purposes at least, is I'm going to take care of simplifying the denominator first. So the denominator says 250 times 60 times 3, which is 45,000. And then when I put this all into my calculator, 349,168 divided by 45,000, I get 7.76 days. So don't forget the unit here is days because minutes crosses out and hours crosses out. So then the closest answer here, it does say closest to the number of days. So I don't usually, um, 
I don't usually guesstimate or estimate here. So 7.76 days is closest to eight days. So that's about how long it would take for Tony to complete this novel.